So using the first data set shown on your chapter three, part one notes, I'm going to do the descriptive statistics for it by using the calculators function. So when you want to find numeric summaries or those descriptive statistics, you need to push the stat button. And to enter your data, you want to go into the edit tab and then the edit option. So clicking enter. And now I have data in my list one. And by default, your calculator will draw from list one. So I'm going to highlight. So I use that up arrow to highlight L1. You want to push clear. So push clear and you'll notice the data is removed from the row down here. And then when I push enter, you'll see it removed from list one. Now, some of you may have, and I just want to show you real quick, if you highlight list one and you push delete, it will actually remove the whole row. So if you highlight one of the lists and push delete, it removes it. Now, it's easy to get it back. So just in case, and some of you can just stay on the screen if you didn't delete it. But just in case you accidentally deleted a list, you just go back out to the stat option. And in the edit tab, you go down to number five, which is the setup editor. So you push enter and it goes out to your main screen with the cursor blinking. If you push enter again and it says done, now you can go back to stat, see that same screen, edit, and then we still want the edit option. And now you'll see all of your lists are back there. So no big deal if you delete it, but don't push delete if you remember, push clear. If you do delete it, go through those steps. So I'm going to enter the data from the notes. So I have zero, enter, three, enter, five, enter, two, enter, four, enter, one, enter, and then four. So it's wise for you to get into the habit of checking your data entry. So I'm just gonna scroll back up slowly and make sure, and I have everything entered correctly. So now I can go into actually analyzing this data. So I'm gonna go to stat. And now this time, because I wanna analyze it, I wanna do some calculations. So I'm moving into the calc option. And remember these notes, we only had one variable. So we want number one, which is one variable stats. Now by default, your calculator will draw from list one. If it was not in list one, this is where you would tell it. So if you push second, and then there are options down here, you see above the number pad, there's a blue L1, L2, L3, et cetera. This is where you would enter which list. So mine is in list one. I don't have to do this because by default it would draw from that, but I'm gonna push second. And then you see here, I'm gonna select number one. And then in my calculator, it shows L1. So when I do that, you'll notice the analysis for my one variable. So X bar, and you'll discover in the, the video lectures that this is the mean, and then the sum of everything, and the sum of squares. And then here, remember that these are both standard deviation. Um, and in the notes though, what you're calculating in the notes is S sub X, that's for the sample. And remember this set of material is for the sample, so you'll always use S sub X. So that's your standard deviation. And then you see a little down arrow, which means that if I keep going down, so if you push your down arrow until it disappears, you'll see more numeric summaries. And this is what we call the five number summary. So you are welcome to use your calculator when doing analysis. In the notes, in the lecture videos, I don't really talk about it because I like you to know what the formulas are and how to use them and what they're used for. But when you do the homework or the exam or whatever, you're welcome to use the calculator. Just really quickly, um, I'm gonna pull out the newer calculator just in case you have a different calculator. So here's the newer one. If I go to stat, you see I see the same options, edit. I've got info in my list one, again, clear. And then I'm going to enter my data, three, five, two, four, one, 
two, four, one, four. Now I'm gonna go out and analyze that again, same way. See, everything is the same, but this one, it actually asks you for the list. So you can tell it which list, and again, that still is above the number pad, just like we saw for the other calculator. Um, you have no frequency, so you leave that one blank, so just go down to calculate, and you'll see the same, same thing as we had for the other one. So same, even though the calculator looks a little bit different, that's how you would use that.